Hello, I'm Alexander Coelho. Today I am on assignment for ModernGlossy.com. We have the great privilege of taking a zen moment to sit with the great designers behind the line, Lotus Grace. Uh, we have Mr. Pellegrini, Mr. Sweeney, uh, thank you so much for sitting down with us. So tell us a little bit about your design sensibility and the way that you two work as a, as a duo. Well, it's a bit of an obsessive process, yeah. I must say. And um, the collection starts basically, literally from from a piece of paper, and um, you know the concepts get developed, and then we start working on ideas and more specific ideas, and then um, the wall in front of my desk starts getting papered, yeah. and I just keep taping up things, you know, that we think of ideas and looks and. What are you taping up there? What, what anything, 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 anything from fabric to a trim or something, you know, I'll see somewhere and just oh, yeah. the concepts just start getting built that way until the wall is filled oh, and then, then then we sit there for hours and, and upset. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then yeah. this goes on for weeks and it's it's a quite a process and you know, I literally wake up in the middle of the night and start writing books down right, right, right. and drawing things in the middle of the night. And so, you know, every morning there's like a stack of papers to go through and not. And that's how it starts to get built. And then, of course, it becomes more specific. Right. And then the dresses get developed and the groups get developed. But still, it's in the paper stage yeah. on the wall. And then it'll sit there and literally for hours we'll just kind of stare at it and uh, like a staring gun. Yeah, right. and make changes and keep, keep uh, you know, it, it just keeps evolving as yeah. a process. Yeah. So do you think that, that your fabric choices play a greater role in that? Mm -hmm. So does it, is it the fabric and then the design comes or is it like... It's I, both. Yeah, it's, it's both. both. There's no okay. way to say because literally if we see a fabric that is so inspirational, yeah. it'll change yeah. everything and we'll start yeah. to go in, in that direction and change things. So it's really a combination of, of everything. You know, we'll love a silhouette, a, or we'll love a trim or a fabric and then it just keeps germinating until it becomes a full-blown idea and group. Well, you mentioned uh, silhouette and I think that uh, uh, you guys have a couple silhouettes that um, seem to appear from season to season but get better and better each time yeah. just based on the fabric changes. Yeah. Um, what about those silhouettes? Are there certain silhouettes that you gravitate towards? Um, well, one of, the, one of the things we really, really love is taking iconic shapes and translating them and making them modern. So we have an iconic party dress that we do many different fabrications in, which is just such a great, great silhouette. And we have a wonderful sheath that's an iconic sheath. And um, we take those and we really kind of play with them. Right. And it's really great because they become modern and new, but yet they're so classic. Right. And the great thing about that is someone can buy these dresses and, and literally have them for 20 years and they'll always seem new and, and we don't believe in age we really believe that the woman just has a sensibility or a style and gravitates to the clothes and and that's i think really great because um we've seen them in 16 year old girls and 70 year old yeah. women and, and everyone in between them they yeah. look amazing and different and really well, I, I think every woman brings a different gravitas right, to, right. to it and that's right. sort of the great thing about yeah. like, you know, uh, yeah. that it's all about the wear. Yeah. 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 Is somebody in charge of selecting the fabric and then someone is in charge of, uh, you know, picking silhouettes or um, does it all sort of happen organically? A lot of it is organic. Yeah. You know, we, we kind of play different strains to certain things, you know, and there's a lot of back and forth. Is there a right left brain going on here? There's a lot of crossover in a lot yeah. of ways. Okay. It's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting situation. You know, it's a structured but not structured kind of dynamic. So that's really good. I tend to, I tend to be very strong immediately on a visual, right. and okay. then we kind of go back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> and then we, you know, we kind of do a lot of circular yeah. movements. <laughs> So, but, uh, yeah. you know, sometimes it'll, it'll be a process, you know, but that's what's great because, you know, if we disagree on something, it's really good because it challenges us both, right? you know, to really, Find you know, right. really, yeah. Into, yeah, yeah, and also like crystallize a point of view, right, right. so because we tend to see things sometimes very, very similarly, but, some, but sometimes very, very different, different. <laughs> <laughs> it's just half and half, so, yeah. so it's good that, you know, there are certain things we'll lock horns on, and then, it always has worked for the best because however it turns out always is a much better version of how it started. Sorry, so because okay. it also doubles our the woman in a way, you know, our client, you know, the, the customer because 
the, the customer that I, I got in my mind, the customer you got in your mind, they overlap. Right. But there's also an outside that you know allows us to go to both. Yeah. Now I think it's really interesting, Eric. You started out in finance, right? Yeah. Or working within the number side, yeah. and now here you are working. Still doing numbers. numbers. <laughs> yeah, but, I, but but certainly you know with a, a more creative right. Uh, right. take. Um, what has that been like for you? Well, I've always loved bright colors, I have beautiful fabrics, different things like that. So I, I always, when we're going with the, the we show them shiny objects. Eric? Yeah, I always in a sea of clothing. <laughs> but uh, no, it, it's been really interesting because I, it's allowed me to, to really hone on to you know, some skills that you know I knew I had, but um, tap into them. I totally tap into them and totally bring them to another level. And allow myself to be more creative instead of just being the, you know, the numbers guy. But to be able to express myself more than just you know the clothing I pick for myself. So, right, right. So it's it's. Um, you talked about fabric, and I I think it's so important to talk about fabric. Yeah. It's fabric, you, your selections as they are impeccable, and the way they change your silhouettes, and it's just astounding. Um, tell us a little bit about that. Um, well, and well, we work really hard to keep sourcing. You know, yeah. we're always out there looking and expanding our, our view of what's out there. And you know, obviously the fabric is so important, and we really work so hard at getting the most luxurious fabrics we can. And the amazing thing is, we we, we do that and yet pair it with an accessible price point, which is really really amazing. Which is a real talent, you know. Yeah. But we take a lot of extra work on our part. It's a lot of work to, uh, to make it all happen, and that's but that's our goal. That's our right. mission. That's what we want to do. Yeah. So, but it's great, and it's exciting to go out there and really source fabrics, and it really so much obviously comes from the fabric. So it's our job to be out there as much as possible, seeing what's out there, and then honing into what we want to do with it. And, also playing with it, you know, it's so funny, we'll get a fabric and, you know, it may seem like, oh, it works like this, but then, you know, you play with it and really kind of expand what it can do, and it's really exciting and you come up with really innovative ways Way to use the yeah. fabric. So that's also really fun. And also, we work with a lot of amazing artisans right. in the factories and do a lot of hand work and so on. And that's just so exciting to see a bolt of fabric turn into literally a work of art. Well, that, I think that's the other really great thing about your work is that um, you are giving all these very high-end touches at a very affordable price point. So I'll tell you a little bit about that. Um, the fact that you do all your most of your management? No, all, all, all everything, well, everything right here in New York City. And you know, it's an amazing thing, but it was like putting the pieces of a puzzle together when we first started setting up the manufacturing operation. And it was extraordinary to really find out what's happening right here in New York City. Oh, no, yeah. no. Factories, incredible companies to work with. And some of the companies we work with in terms of buying the fabrics and the trims and, and working with some of the manufacturing operations for the flowers we use and so on, they've been in business some 70 years, 100 years. And it's so really fulfilling to be working with these people and, and helping them stay in business Isn't because yeah, we yeah. want to do whatever we can to keep these amazing artisans here. That's so, and it's I, great. Yeah, it's I great. think it's so great that you guys are championing on those artisans that are still, you know, right here in our backyard. Yeah. And, well, I mean, it's just, it's too interesting to like, just bump by yeah. yeah. I mean, truly, I mean, when you walk into some of these, I mean, the machinery, yeah. it, 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 it just blows you yeah, Some of it's like literally 70 years old. It's, it's then amazing. you walk in these amazing machines, it's like, it's like being in a movie almost yeah. to see what's happening. And yet they're still there doing it. It's yeah. really an extraordinary situation. Uh, well, well, again, what I think is so great is that you know everyone's, you know, some of these designers are, you know, going overseas because supposedly it's cheaper to manufacture. But the great thing is you guys are giving lots of look, yeah, um, right. really great quality, and you guys are a are able to keep those price points down, and you're manufacturing right here in the U.S. Mm -hmm.